Okay, so I thought I'd make a fun video for you guys today. Um, as you can see, we got a trailer with the cryptids on. I thought I would give you guys a video going over what the, my dad's 2021 Renegade 1000 XXC with the cryptids on. So, let's hop right into it. All right, I got both lug nuts, or both tires lug nuts loose. Um, I'm gonna jack it up now, take off the tires, and we'll throw the front cryptids on. All right, got both front tires off, put the cryptids on. <laughs> It looks so good. It looks so, so good. Not on the ground yet, but it looks crazy. Yup. These look good. If you guys are contemplating putting these on your Renegade, do it immediately. These look insane. So I'm gonna put it down on the ground, bolt everything up so we can see what it looks like and if they clear. I think they will because we've got plenty of space, but you never know once it's on the ground. Okay, so we have lots of room still. Easily clears. I got the jack at the back now. I'm gonna jack it up. Or actually, I'm gonna leave it down on the ground, loosen up all the bolts, and then we'll put the back ones on. Okay, so I got one of the tires still just loosely put on with the lug nuts, and you got a little bit of rubbage. But once I tighten down the lug nuts, I think it'll kind of pivot the tire a little bit and might, you know, pull it whatever side it needs to. And also, when the suspension goes down, the tire's gonna come back. So I think it's gonna make a little bit of gap between the floorboard and the tire. And I think then it'll look good and it'll look normal because. I really hope it doesn't look like that because that looks pretty weird with the shock the way it is and the tire. So I'll get the other one on, I'll tighten them down, and then I'll show you guys what they look like. And now the last tire is put on. And she looks pretty sick, boys. Love the way the rear end looks on these. Like, it looks so good. So I'm going to put it down. Let's see what it looks like. She is tall. My Outlander's handlebars used to go over these handlebars, but that is not the case anymore. I'll tighten these down and then I'll try and get you guys a video of it running and driving. Okay, and just to check clearance again, you got this little part right here. I mean, literally any bouncing, it's gonna rub. But in there, I mean, can't even fit a finger in there. Same goes for the other side, except this has a little bit more clearance. I'm not sure how or why, but I'm gonna go ride it. Let it soften down a little bit, and I'll see if anything else changes.
kind of looks like a mess, but me and my dad have made the great decision to take the stock XMR parts and put it on the XXC. So we already taken off that piece. We're taking out these four bolts. There, there. And we're gonna take off that plastic piece, throw on the XMR metal floorboards that go down here. They mount up, same chassis, everything, so they're gonna mount up good. Then we're probably gonna drill some holes for this to go on right here. Something like that. We already mounted it up, it fits. So if you guys are ever looking to do this or are trying to clear bigger tires, it's a good idea. And you got the back piece right here. It also mounts up. So I'll let you guys know when we got a net, the other, the that piece off and the next step is done. Okay, so we got all the XMR stuff bolted up. Kind of. All the bolts are just put into place. Um, yeah, you can do this. You just put all the bolts back right here. You just have to put some holes wherever these other little bolts are. But they all go back right there, right there, right into your headlight. It looks pretty good. All right, so. The XMR floorboard conversion is done. We got all the rivets drilled. Very sturdy. Really sturdy. Really sturdy. And they look good. I think they look better than they did stock with the cryptids. Next thing to do would be a snorkel horn.